Good day to you. Today the Lord's word and the vision came from Elijah's prayer style in James 5, verse 15. And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up and if he has committed sins, they will be forgiven him. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. So we know prayer heals. We want to take up a prayer line for the, 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 the so many girl children are being abused. We want to take up a prayer line for this. We want to continue with the prayer line to put COVID down and for healing for those who are affected. We want to continue this prayer line. We want to pray for children who are on online studies are getting digitally abused or digitally addicted. We want to continue prayer lines that parents will have innovative ways, spiritual ways of holding up uh, their children to the Lord and expecting from the Lord their harvest. Because there is a time people are getting weary, people are getting careless and uh, as if, uh, as if frustration setting up, losing sight, that prayer will be rewarded. So we want every kind of healing. And it says, so that you may be healed, the effective prayer of a righteous <coughs> man can accomplish much. In this verse, there are the word, Greek word, energion, which is for energy, is in two places. The energetic prayer of a righteous man will energize, uh, continue to work, that is the context. So we want to lift up a prayer request and hold a line of redemption that this prayer will achieve its decreed target. So, so you get the sense that we may start something in prayer, in humility and in passion, and then the Lord begins to partner with us in the prayer. Holy Spirit moves into the prayer with unutterable groaning inside us. We are carrying the burden of the Lord and our heart and passion and energy is given to it. And then suddenly we may drop the baton before the end goal is arrived, uh, before the lap is won, so to say. We drop the prayer baton. Then what we started with may have had a little result, but the final result, the complete result hasn't come. So this is the context of it, that we want to hold on to that prayer line till the prayer is done with energy and strength. The effective prayer of a righteous man can energetic prayer of a righteous man will continue to energize till it's done. So this is the important of, importance of starting the prayer and holding the prayer posture, enduring prayer, holding the prayer posture, our passion on it and our lifestyle on it, around it, and of course it's a, right, a prayer of a righteous man, which means the Lord will, which means the Lord will, uh, will be working on it. Uh, because we are not dropping it. When we drop it, the Lord loses his partner in the work to be done. We know prayer works. The prayer will keep working. And we are asked to keep practicing and keep keeping that prayer posture with strength. This is the Lord's uh, purpose that the prayer will work. And energy on the prayer will continue. Then, uh, what are the connections to this prayer? Elijah was a man with a nature like us, meaning he felt discouraged, but God recovered him. James 5.17 And he prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the earth. So what it means is Elijah had his weakness, but he held on to a prayer till God brought the result. So we can ourselves uh, earnestly. There. So then uh, that no rain period brought discipline to the nation to know that nation needs God. It did not rain on the earth for three and a half years. Then he prayed again and the sky poured rain and the earth produced its fruit. So this is a time of drought. Uh, earth's fruit has languished. Nations are struggling. Covid has wrought havoc. And now nations may be having a heart of hearing. Nations may have a heart of fearing the Lord. Nations may have a heart of trembling that many man-made efforts uh, have failed and science has become fake and people may make God God again because they have made so many other things, many gods for their different needs. Uh, so it's a time of uh, need, it's a time of drought, 
when God has to send the rain on many of these things, we don't have solutions. So at the personal level, then at the level of our ikos, those who may be touched by our prayer, we need, and they seeing how God answers our prayer, and a nation, a city might turn to the Lord in prayer. As our groaning and our travail, God can partner with us for a small thing or a big thing, according to the table, we are touching and asking the Lord. Our seat and our table, maybe just for our family, that's fine to begin with. But as the seat increases, the authority and the expansion comes, we may be praying for 10 more, and my prayer may be effective for 20 more lives. You see how it goes? Uh, so God is always wanting to increase the fruit of our prayer. Did not rain. Then he prayed again, and the sky poured out rain, and the earth produced its fruit. So we have a hope that earth can produce fruit again for those who are praying this effectual, fervent, energetic prayer, the prayer energy, the work of prayer continuing energetically till the Lord comes. Of course, we are saying, Lord, keep your people in the working prayer where prayer is working, prayer is effective, prayer is energy and our communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit in a dwindling world. In a world in recession, in a rundown world, the prayer energy is running up and we keep eye on the fruit that God gives and the rain that God sends. My brethren, so here is the final and most important target at tandem alongside this is the real important thing about prayer. My brethren, if any among you strays from the truth and one turns him back, let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save his soul and from death and will cover a multitude of sins. So all prayer finally has to turn people from error. And the, the, the vision I saw today, there was this person, the Lord's flame came and she turned God's word and looked bright. But after a while, she unswerved and the old nature came up. So we need to take care when the flame of prayer, flame of anointing has come and we turn God word, that we will remain turn God words. We need to understand or recognize the things that turn us back to our own way and say, Lord, I'm not turning back to my own way. And this is one part of the energetic, effective prayer till the work is done. Even after the work is done, then the Lord puts us to the next thing. So, from one prayer request to the another, one prayer target to the next one. We are in that champion race with Jesus Christ, running with him, champions, with in a prayer governed world. That's the thing. So, we, we don't let up from one thing to the other. We keep on at it because, because the Lord needs partners on earth who will agree with his uh, desire, agree with his will. And when we say, your, uh, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come on my patch of earth. Thy will be done. And that prayer will continue and earth will change to the extent till he comes. He said in Luke 18, 8, will he not, Luke 18, 7, Will he not answer the righteous when they cry to him day and night? He also said, will I find faith when I come? So each nation, each city needs to remain in faith, faithful prayer, faith effective prayer. This kind of prayer, we may be now praying for COVID and different situations, but this kind of prayer is our immunity and our protection. We need to pray for our sake, our children, their future, our grandchildren, till Christ comes. May God bless you. And please take up as a prayer request the spate of child abuse that's going on. Uh, newspapers are, are agog because we are shepherds. We feel that the pang about this kind of uh, unrighteousness, wickedness increasing. As people become careless, as death spreads, people become careless. Conflict spread, people become careless. And they are Nature's turn to wickedness and we need to, we need to have prayers that give them immunity, moral immunity, spiritual immunity. We need it ourselves. Please don't let up. There is an energy giving, energetic uh, prayer that will energetically work the will of God. 
we want that prayer. God bless you.